So if you have causality, cause and effect, as the process that is required for any change to take place in the universe, um, you can understand how um, causality is really as axiomatic as, um, as the fact that there is a universe and the fact that the universe changes. And I say this to kind of like to clarify, you know, confusion that, that has um, arisen in physics since 1927, I believe, when um, Werner Heisenberg, Heisenberg um, published his um, Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. And we're going to, I'm not going to get into this too much now because I'm going to do a, a separate show on it. But basically, you know, it was a, um, a mathematical equation that demonstrates that you can't at the same time measure the position and the momentum of a particle. Okay, if you, if you measure, I mean, with, 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 um, with pre precision, you know, if you, if you measure the particle's position, then its momentum becomes less clear. If you measure the particle's momentum, then its position becomes less clear. Okay, that's the basic uncertainty principle, and it applies to other things like particle spin, particle charge, particle phase, and stuff. And, you know, again, I'll go into that on another show. But that is, for some reason, it, it, it just it doesn't make sense, really, but it, that led people, physicists, um, basically this guy Niels Bohr and Werner um, Heisenberg, who, who formed what's known as the Copenhagen Interpretation of Quantum Physics, because this is basically explaining um, reality at the level of subatomic particles, the quantum level, and it led them to conclude that since we can't measure simultaneously, you know, position or momentum or two what they call conjugate variables, you know, like spin, uh, charge, and all that, since we can't do that, somehow these processes are uncaused. And so that's, that's why it's important to see that if the universe exists is an axiomatic fact and change is axiomatic, you know, to, because, like, you know, otherwise everything would be frozen, then if causality is necessary, describes change, obviously causality is a fund, fundamental fact of nature that, um, that this, this, in other words, this explanation of causality um, is at a much more fundamental level than, than interpreting, you know, the results of the Heisenberg, <coughs> excuse me, uncertainty principle. I mean, there's more to it. I mean, it's just, it's never been shown in any way that something could ever be uncaused. I mean, think about it. 